finally gonna be doing a tour of my indoor greenhouse. So I had actually recorded it with my houseplant tour, but I must have been tired recording it because I didn't quite like the footage. So I'm gonna turn off my fan for now just so it's quieter when we record this. I keep my fan on constantly, so there's never a time when it is off. It is a closed indoor greenhouse, so you want that air circulation to be going through, so you should always have a fan in your greenhouse, especially because I do have a grow light in here. So that means the heat is just going to increase. I love this grow light. So I actually got just this kind of extension here. So you could just hang a bulb and it's perfect because I could just wrap it around the top of this greenhouse here and it just suits my needs. Nina girl. Uh, so I normally don't like her in here, but if I yell at her, she'll bite a plant. If not, she will just chill in here. Totally cool but she thinks she's a plant goddess. So that's kind of that. <laughs> so I do want to go over this middle portion here. So I just put this shelf together today and it's because I'm going to be putting some more plants in here. So for now I have up top, these are just some plants that I received and they're going through acclimation and they had just lost their leaves. And it's just something that happens and don't feel too bad if it does. So here's my Anthurium lapuanum. It is a corrugated Anthurium, so of course it freaked out when I first got it, but I'm excited for it to eventually give me a new leaf. Here is my Anthurium angomarcanum. I actually have two of these and the other one is in here, so I'll be able to show you later. This is my one of my Anthurium warquianums, but this is the wide form. I'm curious to see if it actually will grow out wide as well as the previous leaves, just because I know sometimes leaves differ depending on your environment. So this one is my Anthurium crystallinum. It's been leafless for a long time. <laughs> and this is my Anthurium papillulaminum, and I do have a different one, but this is one that just had one leaf and it had lost it. So I'm just waiting on that one as well. Here, I totally skipped this one. <laughs> Here is an Anthurium baloanum, I believe it's pronounced. So its leaf was completely dead on arrival. So I've just been rooting it in some moss here. And down here is from Bogano Pot Plants, my Anthurium doriaki crystallinum hybrid, and it is finally producing a new leaf. So I'm excited about that. I've actually decided to put it on a lower level shelf because I don't want it to be too close to the light. The distance is pretty good. I would say it's a bit over a foot, so they should be okay, but I also don't want them to burn. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go over this side. We're gonna get to the floor plants and then the ones on this side. And I also do wanna mention that plants in this greenhouse are not all plants I'm gonna be keeping. Some of them I will be selling come springtime I do have a few of certain different ones, some that I've been rooting particularly just to sell. And I also have plants in here that I just want to kind of have a more luxury treatment as they, so they kind of get better and progress better. So <laughs> all the plants that I will be selling definitely are receiving kind of the best treatment possible because this is a better setup certainly than my regular home. So in here it usually stays around 74 degrees, I believe, and then it will stay around 90% humidity. This is without a humidifier. This is just my fan, my light, my plants, <laughs> nothing else. And it stays 90%, so it's freaking fantastic. And if you are interested in this particular greenhouse, it's a really good size and, excuse my mess over there, <laughs> it's a really good size and I will put a link to it below. I'll also put a link to the shelf if you're interested. There's just a lot of wasted floor room, so I thought adding additional shelf would be amazing. And I will link also the light as well and the cord too. So starting on this side, so my Green Spaces ID VGI I have in here, he's finally kind of perked up. He was really sad for a while, like a lot of my plants are when I import them, but then they kind of do this thing where they tell me they're Love and life. <laughs> so these two stubs here are both Anthurium regale. I also have one in my plant room, but I have these as well. 
And I don't know if you can tell, but they both have some new growth here. One's right there, and the other one has it over here. So I'm excited to see how those turn out. I have three different regales just because I've been curious about different natural variations of them. I'm most likely not keeping them all, so if you're interested in one, I will definitely post on my Instagram kind of what I'm going to be selling come springtime. So this is an Anthurium crystallinum hybrid, and it came to me a bit rough. So this was its new leaf that got damaged during shipping. This was a leaf that's just been acclimating. It's officially acclimated now, though, and it is growing me a beautiful new leaf. <laughs> So I'm really excited about this plant. And back here I have an Anthurium Warquianum dark form. So this one leaf is the one that has been dying since I've got it. So that was just it acclimating. The rest of it is completely fine and just chilling in here. I do have another dark queen. So this is the one that I will most likely not be keeping. But oh God, I love her. She just has so many leaves. <laughs> and back here is my Pseudo Spectabalis. He's a bit squished in here, but he's kind of just been chilling, just kind of waiting to see what he does, but he's really beautiful. All right, and on the second row, we have my Philodendron Gygus. So this Gygus here had rot when I got it, so I was rooting it in water. It's officially in soil now, and this melanocrysum had no roots, but it is fully rooted now and officially in soil. <laughs> and back here is my Anthurium angomarcanum that has grown me a new leaf. So this one was a stub as well. And then in front of it here is my little pride and joy at the moment. It is my Anthurium cuticuense. So I'm looking for, I'm looking to get her a tree fern totem and put her in a net pot. At the moment, she's in this tall cup, which I'm not crazy about because I don't like the fact that it's closed off. I want her to have more air, but right now it's really hard to keep her propped upright. Her stem is just as long, is longer than this cup. So as you can tell, it's definitely leaves some kind of stability. But what's awesome about it is not just the corrugated leaves, but the fact that they're freaking petioles look crazy. So they're tinted with this kind of reddish and green color. It just looks very kind of exotic looking. Like it's just a crazy looking anthurium. I've certainly never had one like it. Oh gosh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Absolutely loving it. And over here is another Anthurium dark form. So this one actually got stuck when it was unfurling, but she's very long and very beautiful. And I can't wait for her to keep going. <laughs> this is one of those things that you have to think about with your environment and how plants are gonna change. So I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but, or even if you look at my Botanica RS unboxing, you'll know that I had a plant that I called Loose. <laughs> and Loose was a kind of, I suspected a narrow anthurium, but just had grown wide because you could tell it had the top like this, but it was just wide here. So that leaf ended up kind of killing itself off. And now she's so narrow. <laughs> so, Unfortunately, I prefer the wide form, so I'm kind of a little bit sad. I already have narrow queens, so <laughs> I miss Luce. But she's beautiful. This guy's been a stump almost since I got it. So this is my Regale Magnificum Hybrid. He was stunning when I got him, but he quickly just got really bad. And honestly, I've just been waiting for him to grow me a leaf ever since. But I'm patient. I don't mind his stub life for a while. He can take his time. <laughs> so this is my Anthurium moonenii. So I absolutely adore this one. I love the tri-leaf like Anthuriums. I just think they're really pretty. And this one came with me. This one came without any roots. 
So I've just been straight rooting it in soil, which you can root it in sphagnum or soil, but I've just been doing this one in soil, <laughs> mostly because I just don't feel like removing it from sphagnum. It just kind of depends on my mood. I don't know. <laughs> but it's doing completely fine. It's been like this for mm, two weeks now, maybe three weeks. I don't know. But this is definitely one I plan on putting on a pole as well. So I can't wait until I'm able to do that. But for now, she can take her time and recoup. So let me check this guy out. <laughs> so just checking for pests. I haven't like looked at him in forever and I just kind of wanted to make sure. But this is my Anthurium Magnificum from my Green Spaces ID order. And as you can tell, he's doing freaking fantastic. So he's as happy as can be. He's freaking gigantic. So definitely a plus. I still have yet to get his hard water stains off, but oh gosh, he's just so luminous. I don't know like what's with this particular leaf. He's kind of like done this weird concave thing. So he's just sucking himself in, not sure why, but he's been chilling like that. So I don't know. And the fact that he's flowering right now, I feel like I don't have room to really judge what he's doing. <laughs> All right. And over here are my Skindapsis Pictus Silver Lady cuttings. So I'm just kind of rooting them all in water. And that's kind of just what it is at the moment. <laughs> so I'm hoping they all root okay. I had imported these and they did not import well. They were actually in the same shipment as my Anthurium Valoanum and my Moonenii. And my Moonenii was in the best of shape out of all my plants. Um, I had ordered another one and it was just dead. <laughs> so yeah, these just had a lot of bacterial issues and it was not pleasant. So that was kind of that. <laughs> And over here, I plan us to like film this better. I feel like I'm all over the place. My next update, <laughs> hopefully I'm better at this. But I'm also realizing I should really check on these plants more because I just haven't been checking on them for pests because they all just seem happy. I don't know, but I should. I'm being bad mom. <laughs> I look at my plant room plants constantly, but these not so much. <laughs> So this is my philodendron, I almost called it in theory, <laughs> squamiferum. So its new leaf here is extra fuzzy. So he's really feeling himself in here. All these philodendrons are probably ones that I'm not gonna be keeping. I already have another Florida ghost, so I don't need to keep this one. Uh, this philodendron enigma here, I had bought from overseas and I don't know I go back and forth like I really like the variegation but then I got to think about how many plants I have and I know I want them to grow big I don't want to hold them back so I just want someone to really appreciate this one I don't think I'm going to be able to because I just have too many other plants and I don't want to have so many where I don't feel like I'm dedicated to each one Teach, stop it. This is Scragglepuss, just kidding. His name is um, Murderer of QTQNC, hold on. I swear if anything happens to that thing, okay. <laughs> Back here is my silver sword, just kind of tucked in back here. So this one wasn't doing so great in my care, so I put him in here hoping he'll thrive more. But again, it's just one that I'm probably not going to keep. But look at this cute little Florida ghost. It's just such a cute little leaf. Oh, adorable. But for my other plant, it's been growing a lot too, so I think I'll take cuttings from that to sell it. Um, I've just spent so much on plants this previous 
growing season that I need to kind of recoup a bit and take a step back. <laughs> but I'm very interested in propagating and sharing my plants with everyone, so. This is my philodendron caramel marble. She could be happier if she was in a position with more light. I'll tell you right now, she does perk up when she does have it. She is very beautiful, but I am not doing her justice at the moment in here, just tucking her in the back, so. <laughs> and then over here, I have my Ethereum papillulaminum. Actually, I'm gonna move this one to the, to the stub section because I feel like they'll do better with more light. <laughs> That is what I'm keeping. <laughs> and then over here, so this whole section is probably plants I'll be selling. I may keep one of my El Chaco philodendrons, but other than that. So this is an Ethereum Ace of Spades. So he's still pretty young. So this was his new leaf, but I kind of jacked it up. I like hit it against something. So I'm making sure they have more room in here. <laughs> this is, I believe they called it a silver blush, but I believe silver brights and silver blushes are still crystal hopes. They're just kind of different forms or natural variations of it, but it's still the same plant. It's just a way for them to sell more plants to name them different things. So this is that cute little thing with you. And then back here, I have Anthurium Doriaki. So I do have two other Anthurium Doriakis. So this one and a second one I will probably be selling and then I'll be keeping my last one. And these two side guys here, this one is an El Chaco. These are both El Chacos, but um, this one's about to lose its leaf and this one already has, but it's growing a new one. So in terms of my El Chacos, I have six of them. So what went on with those is the reason some of them are sad looking is because they pretty much came to me unrooted. So I've been rooting them for months now. You can tell the ones that have rooted all the way. <laughs> so this one, here it has, and it is growing a new leaf. How crazy is this new leaf too? Like, I'm excited to finally get new leaves on this plant because they look freaking crazy. Like how, that's beautiful. But it's just so neon, it's crazy. So this one here has rooted as well. This one has, and you can tell they've kind of, they regain back their luster when they have. I think my other El Chacos have rooted, but they're just kind of killing off their old leaves and we can expect new ones. Like if you look at the back of this dying one, you can see it does have something there. So they're coming along, but I want them to be really lush before I go and sell them and healthy. <laughs> so that's kind of like, I never ever want to sell anyone a plant that I don't think is healthy or doesn't have a good root system because I want them to be acclimated and be as easygoing as possible for people. And then I have this Anthurium here, which was sold to me as an Anthurium Magnificum Crystallinum, also from my Green Spaces ID order. So it initially had these three leaves and this one is the brand new leaf, which is beautiful. <laughs> and makes me consider not giving up this plant. But I also have so many anthuriums. Like it's over 70 now, I believe. So and I'm not even counting ones that I'm like selling. So I've gotta be very good about what I bring in and what I decide to keep. Just keeping the ones I love. But uh, it's also kind of fun doing this whole rehabilitation thing. Like I kind of enjoy seeing plants come back and really thrive. Like I feel like I'm doing something right, <laughs> which is weird for me because I feel like my plant room obviously isn't as wonderful as in this greenhouse over here, but they're doing really great in there too. Like I will quickly jump in there and just kind of show you some updates because it's just really awesome to see these plants grow. That I'll chalk a leaf. <laughs>
I don't want to show you too much because I'm kind of reorganizing in here. So I'm only going to show you some up close shots. But this Laxaplant Cellar plant that I got from Instagram is finally popping out a new leaf. And this is one of my favorite plants. So this is the one I call Stormy. And it has this bluish green hue to it. And it's finally giving me a leaf. I'm going to start probably time lapsing this leaf development probably tomorrow. Over here we have my current time lapse that I've been running for forever now. <laughs> so this is my Anthurium Voodoo Child. I totally just got in the way of that time lapse. It's doing so good. I can't wait to see just the final leaf. I've been waiting for this particular hybrid to give me one for so long. <laughs> And you all remember my variegated bilitai because I'm obsessed, but it is growing a new leaf. So I freaking can't wait. Like, it's just going to be incredible. The variegation has been awesome on all of these leaves. I think the back one's green, but the rest freaking phenomenal. So I can't wait. <laughs> but, oh God, so excited. But I'm definitely not going to show you all the new leaves because I'll be doing a more updated kind of plant room video later on. So if you want to see like more updates sooner, I would go check out my Instagram because I definitely post about that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed these this greenhouse tour and these updates. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all and I hope you come back for my next one. Enjoy the rest of your planty week.